Hello, and welcome to our tutorial video on how to log in to the RSCDS website. My name is Mike Greenwood, and I'm the Digital Marketing Communications Officer for the Royal Scottish Country Dance Society. And today, we're going to be going through how to log in to the RSCDS website. So if you're an RSCDS member and you've logged into our website before, you'll remember that through our old website in the top right hand corner, there is a little box with text in it titled Login or Register. So with our new website, it is essentially the same. As you can see in the top right hand corner here, the button My RSCDS. Now we've tailored this to try and go for a more personal experience where that we want you to feel that this is your website and that you are being a part of a wider dancer community. So My RSCDS is where you go if you would like to log into the website. So let's click on that now. So my, the My RSCDS button is available from every single web page on our website. So if you would like to visit your member dashboard or to log in or log out at any time, you can always click on this button. So when we click on the My RSCDS button, we are being taken to the My RSCDS page. There's some member benefits on here where you can click on to go and explore membership options if you're not a member. And over here on the left hand side of the page you will see the login feature, sorry. And, and if you are not a member then you can also register on the site. But for now we are just going to log in to the website as we are as we would a normal member. So going forward just a side note here we have moved all of your details from our old database onto our new database which we've built. However we did not move your passwords. This was for privacy and security reasons as the RSCDS does not hold any password information on site. The passwords that you create are unique to you and we at the office do not know them. Thus, we do not have a list of passwords. So going forward, in order to sync and link your new account from our database to this website, you will need to create a new password. This is explained here in the orange box. And, and to link your membership account, all you'll need to do is go to click here to create a new password. That will bring you to a reset your password. In the box here, type in the email address that you had registered on our old database. If you are unsure of the email address you had registered on our old database, please just get in touch with the RSCDS team and we will be happy to help. So for this, for this purpose and for testing, we created a test account. So I typed in my email address that I had registered, and I click Submit. This will then take you back to the My RSCDS page with an info box that says, Further instructions have been sent to your email address. So I'm just going to go to my email address up here in Gmail. I'm just going to refresh it. And as you can see, I have an email. Now this is from our developer, but you will, you will notice that the, the email that you will get is from the RSCDS. Let's click on the email that we were sent. Now to continue on and complete the reset password, you will need to click on the link, or you can copy and paste it into your internet browser. So let's click on the link. After clicking on the link, I am taken to the Choose a New Password page through the My RSCDS page. Through here, I will create a new password. Now it shows you that the password strength is a little weak, but that's okay. You can make yours any one you like. And that the passwords match, yes. Now, recommendations to make your password stronger. You can make it at least 12 characters, uppercase letters, numbers, and punctuation. But most importantly, please remember your password and please keep it in a safe location. So once we have chosen a new password, I will go to Save Password and Log In. Success! The changes have been saved and I have successfully logged in to the My RSCDS section of our website. I have linked my account to the database and I am all set up and ready to go. So welcome to your member dashboard. This is the member dashboard that is only privy to RSCDS members. 
You can go through and view member-only content. You can edit your profile, change your email or password, view your orders, your shop orders, view any event bookings that you had done through our website, and of course, log out. Now, if you navigate to anywhere on our website and you would like to get back to your member dashboard, just click My RSCDS and you'll be taken back to this page. So let's explore the member dashboard a little bit. We'll go into member only content. This page has quick links to pages that you might find useful and information for, for just members. You can go and visit the management board notice board to see updates and news from the management board or you can go to the education and training notice board to view updates and, and news from the education and training committee. Down here you have quick links to pages that you might find useful and more will be added to this page in the future so please be on the lookout. Here we can edit the profile so on this page you can edit your RSCDS profile your first name, last name, email, contact details and we ask that you please go through and opt in to receive the magazine if you would like to receive the Scottish Country Dancer and please opt in to receive our e-newsletter if you would like to receive the e-newsletter. You can do that by clicking on the boxes and clicking submit. You can also change your email or password and as well to your site language settings. If you would like to view the website in English, French, Italian, Japanese, Russian, or Spanish, you can set the default here. So let's go back to our member dashboard. In future videos, we will be going over the My Orders section and the My Events section of your member dashboard, which pertains to shop orders and any event bookings done through our website. Both can be viewable here. Now just before we go, we are going to log out of the website and go over one more feature. So down here below the login box, you have forgot password. Now as you can remember from our old website, the forgot password function was up there near the top right hand section. Here though, it's below the login information. So if any time in the future you forget your password, you can just go to Forgot Password, and you'll be taken to a page similar, or pretty much exactly the same, as, the, as what you went through when setting up your account. So all you need to do to reset your password is type in your email address and click Submit, and then an email, like the one that we went over in this video, will be sent directly to your inbox. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.